removal. That worked good. That worked 100% better. That was the one step noise removal. How you're going to have to do this is play around with it just like I did. Because you are just not going to get it perfect. But you're going to get it a heck of a lot better. And this is, I'm telling you what to do, but some of these things, as you see, I'm having to kind of figure out what to do as I'm going as well. Another thing is cropping, which is really important. Two parts of cropping. And actually, a lot of people use these digital programs to help them decide what to do with their painting. And that's a whole other video that I can do on there. But right now, we're going to go over to the crop tool, select it. There's our little crop box. I really don't like this whole painting. What I like is the top part. I think it looks good. I just don't care much. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to do because I'm at a very difficult angle here. So you can get it on the camera and I can kind of manipulate it a little bit, which I'm not, it's hard for me to do from this position. I'm sorry about that. There we go. There we go. So you can see the area I've selected is the top area. The bottom area, I have, area I've not selected. So I'm going to go up here, which is going to say apply. I'm selecting this part. This is the part I like. There. I like that part. That would be my painting. You know, if I were to redo this, I'd probably just do the top of the cyclamens, just like that. I like that a lot better than the other one. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on down, and we're going to go to Blurry. It's I've got to take it out of selection because it's still in the selection mode for some reason. I don't want it to be selecting anymore. Okay, there you go. This is blurry looking. So, what we're going to try to do under the adjust is down to sharpness, high pass sharpen. Over here it's blurry, over there you can see it's not quite as blurry, it is a bit sharper. I'm going to go down, <clears throat> the high pass is not as much of a sharpen as you go down to sharpen. I hope you guys can read this sharpen there you go it's even more sharp now we're going to adjust it one more time to where it says sharpen more there you are that's pretty close to the original i'm going to pop up the original here so you can see it i'm going to get rid of this little box again or else pull it all out again whatever here there we go so that's how sharp the original one of that is and it looks good. We got rid of the blurriness. It doesn't look out of focus. It looks sharp. You don't want to over sharpen your photographs, your, your art though, because it can look kind of harsh. So you really just try to get it as sharp as it looks in real life so people can see the details and everything. All right, now we're going to go back to another one here. One that came out too dark. I'm going to figure out which one that is. Oh, that's a detail. All right, we'll put that back. All right, this is the full size of my Mandela Moon, and it's cropped, and it's fixed the way I want it to look. But here's a couple ways it looked before I did it on PaintShop Pro. Okay. Uh, see, look at all these edges around here. It's dark. Look at that. I also see photographs with with your couch in the background, on the table, with stuff on your table in the background. It's going to be real hard for people to notice your painting with all of those. Stuff. Oh, look it! Do they have hamburgers for lunch? You know, you want your painting to be the focus of that photograph, so you crop it. You crop off everything that's not part of the painting. That's what this one needs is cropping. And we already showed you how to crop. I don't want to have this video get too long here. Uh, we go down one here. That's the detail. We'll go up with this one first. Oh, that went too big. I can't find the one I have to lighten. There we go. This is the same one. I'm going to put this up here and move this little crop guy out. I can't seem to get rid of the selection thing. But see how dark this is? 
this is not only the one that needed to be cropped, but it's dark. I mean, the colors don't show, the details don't show. This is not doing my painting any favors. It does not look like this in real life. It, it looks better in real life. I don't know how great, but it looks better in real life. So we moved that. Now here's the idea of details too. This is a detail part of that. Not only is it a good color right now, but here are some details. This is part of the moon here. And this is some of the salt that I put in. So if, if you have room where you can show, show more than one photo of your art, it's really good if you give a detail shot too so people can see some of the details. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time on our art. We spend a lot of time picking out the colors, choosing the subject, actually creating it. Why not spend a little bit more time to get it to look as good as it does in real life? And again, I like to say, not better, because that could cause problems, <laughs> but to have it look as good as it looks in real life. Why not? And give it a name. This is my Mandela Moon. It doesn't have a name on here. I put what I put on here is detail pick so I know what I was going to show you so I hope this helps all of you um, I'll be putting up some more of uh, me painting some fast forward ones but I had some requests from this for this and I just realized how important it is all the time we put into creating and why not a bit more time to make our creation look as good as it does okay well happy creating everyone and I'll see you on the next one bye